Hi guys, my name is Ivana and welcome to my channel. <laughs> I, I'm trying to mess around with this lighting. Oops. And I really, I just don't know what to do. I, it makes me too bright. I have shadows behind me. And all I really want to do is make it better than this. So how does this work? And yes, I'm using this Ikea desk lamp. I know, it's not very professional. But what do I do to make this work? Oh my gosh, what am I knocking over? Do I go way far away? Maybe this is okay, but there's a shadow behind me. Okay, hi guys, my name's Ivana and welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for stopping by and coming back. Or if you are new, welcome to my channel. Today I thought I would do a little bit of a handbag chat. And is this really distracting? I wanted to do a most used handbags of 2017 video. But when I started thinking about it, I could not, I couldn't figure out what my most bags of 2017 were. I couldn't figure it out for the life of me. Because I switch bags so often, every day, every other day, for the most part, pretty much that's what I do. And I just couldn't pinpoint a bag that I, oh my gosh, I used consistently enough to know that I used it a lot because I probably did use several of the bags, but they were spread out so much that I just couldn't figure it out. So I really couldn't pinpoint most used bags other than my work bag, which I pretty much use every day. I switch between three different work bags throughout the year, pretty much seasonal, is how they work. I have a problem, I can't make this video. What I've decided to do this year to combat that, and yeah, it's being a little bit of a geek, I have created a spreadsheet. I've got one tab for my Doonies, I've got one tab for other designers, and then one tab for my work bags. This way I can keep track on a daily basis or a weekly basis or however I can make myself remember which bags I used every day. I've got a row for each day of the year and I've got columns for each of my bags. This also allowed me to count how many bags I actually have and to figure out what I've got because I've got them stored all over the place. There's some up on top of my um, armoire. Those are the bags I put away for the season because they're kind of high up and hard to get to. I've got some bags in my drawers over here in my bookcase with the little baskets that pull out. I've got some bags over here in my, I guess it's a coat closet, but I've got a little hanging shelf thing from Ikea that I just put them up there. And I've got probably my most used ones for the current season behind me on the shelf. So this allowed me to count up what I have and to also kind of reassess my bag uh, collection because another thing I figured out this year is having so many bags and then figuring out when to use them and struggling what to change into and all that is pretty stressful for me. I end up feeling guilty about bags that are sitting and not being used. I also have a hard time figuring out what I wanna wear because I say, oh, I'm gonna wear this one today. And they say, no, I really wanna wear that, but no, I wanna wear this. It's an inner struggle. I was thinking this year maybe I would pare down my collection to a more manageable size and keep what I really love and what I find I'm really reaching for. And so, uh, I have some hard decisions to make because each time I try to do this, I can never part with anything. So I am going to be taking a harder look at my collection this year. I'm also going to continue not purchasing as many. Uh, I'm just gonna be very mindful about what I purchase. I've given myself a four bag limit, yes guys, a four bag limit for the year. I've got a wish list that has about I think it's got about five bags or six bags on it. I know that's boring for you guys because you guys like unboxings and reveal. I'm gonna try to do more handbag videos on the bags that I have and I've just gotta 
think of content, which I'm really horrible at doing. So I'm also horrible at responding to requests. So I'm really sorry, guys. I know there's a couple of videos that have been requested out there. I haven't gotten around to, but I'm working on it and I haven't forgotten. So that all being said, this is the bag I've been carrying for, it's on my spreadsheet and I can't really remember. It's like, it's over a week. It's maybe like 10 or 11 days already. I've been carrying the Scratch and Hobo. And let me tell you, I have fallen in love with it probably for the first time. Because when I first got it, I liked it, but I didn't reach for it very much. I don't know why. I just, I just didn't reach for it. And so recently I saw it in the closet and I said, you know what? I really have to start carrying this bag because... It's a great bag, it's comfortable, durable, and I just, I love how it looks. It's beautiful with this Sierra leather trim. So I've been carrying it, and prior to this use, I have to say there probably was no wear and tear on this bag. But as I look at it closely today, I noticed a few things. And I don't know if this is gonna come off on camera very well, but can you see, can you see the corner there? No, you can't see the corner. Um. I've noticed that the corners have gotten a little bit dulled, like the coating is being um, worn a little bit away. I don't know if you can see that, guys, but it kind of surprised me because I know Dooney and Burke coated cotton to be very durable. I, In fact, the work bags that I carry are from Dooney and Burke and they're coated cotton. And man, these things, I throw them on the, uh, I don't throw them, I set them down on the floor under my desk at work. There's carpet. But I can see just only after, after wearing them for, you know, a year or having them for two years or so and wearing them for maybe, maybe a third of the year each one gets used. There's just, you know, slight wear and tear on the bottom and maybe a little worn away color at the corners. But for carrying this for 10 days, I am a little bit surprised about that wear and tear on the corners, I have to say. Also, the other thing that kind of worries me is there's always the question of, will this bag hold up to rain? Will it stand up to a little rain shower or a little water? And these bags, coated cotton, are known to, you, just, you know, they're, they're durable. You just wipe them dry. But what always worries me are the ones that have the leather trim, the handles and leather here or leather down here at the corners. And so I do try to avoid them, carrying them on rainy or snowy days because of that. But I've heard lots of um, handbag lovers, Dooney lovers out there say, I carried my Florentine bag, it got a little bit of rain, but you know, spots from the rain, but then when it dried, it dried you know, without any remnant of it having rain on there or water spots. So I thought, maybe I'm being a little, you know, too cautious with my bag. So it was raining yesterday. I had an umbrella, but of course, umbrella doesn't cover everything. So I walked into the building carrying this and it did get some water spots. Again, I don't know if you can see that, my apologies, but there are some faint, little spots left so sierra leather trim at least in my experience cannot hold up to water spot you gotta still be careful that's just what i've learned and this you know i don't ever foresee myself selling this bag it's gonna be mine till the end so i guess it doesn't really you know a few water spots here and there they're really hard to see I guess it's a good lesson learned that now I know that I have to worry about rain still. I just have to. So anyway, guys, this is what I've got in here. And I am using my red bag organizer. Um, but I also have a pouch in there. That's just a letter I have to mail. And I'm using my Louis Vuitton pochette accessoire in, uh, with my in monogram print with my gold chain strap that I got on eBay um, and I figure if I ever do need just a little pouch I can actually just run into a store with this but this is easy enough to run into the store with because it's really comfortable but I just wanted to show you that even though it does not match it 
is complimentary, I guess. You know, I love this with the chain. Isn't it so pretty? Anyway, I was carrying this one from the beginning of the year in my bag, which I really love this. I couldn't put it away, but then today I switched into this one just because I thought it, it kind of went better with this bag. But hey, doesn't that still look great? It's got browns in it, so it picks it up. I think it looks great. So anyway, and then, you know, in the pockets I've got random just gum and some lit products and, and then what I do my bills out of and lotion and my Michael Kors. Check that out. Michael Kors Jet Set, I think it's a wallet or a card case. It's got silver tone hardware and this beautiful silver zipper pull. I love zipper pulls that are big kind of chunky metal like this. I just love them. I wish Dooney and Burke would do more of that kind of thing on their bags. I think it just adds some, I don't know, like some shine and something really chunky and sturdy to the bag, I guess. So, but check it out. It's smooth, so it's not like any sparkles or glitter is coming off of here. But there's, it's got the Metal Michael Kors logo. It's got some pockets on the back, and then you can put an ID in here. It's got a pocket here, and then inside, it does have this gusset. And inside, I've just got cash and cards, and it holds enough to be my regular wallet. I did have my insurance cards in here too, but it was just kind of making it a little poofy. And since it's kind of a stiffer material, I don't want anything to crack. So I put those in another card case. Isn't it so pretty? This is my favorite wallet. This was actually something I purchased with a gift card that I received from my son for Christmas. So um, it's got a special meaning to me aside from just it being beautiful. And I've been carrying it ever since I purchased it after the Christmas holiday. So that's it, empty. And what I'm gonna be switching into, I think, I really still wanted to keep carrying the Gretchen because I just have fallen in love with it, but I am kind of getting itchy and bored. So I need a change. I haven't carried this yet. I can't remember the last time I carried this bag, guys. So it's time. The small Florentine satchel in the color crimson. This is not the American made model. This is the regular Florentine satchel. And isn't it so pretty? I don't know if the lighting is doing it justice, but it's such a deep Bordeaux color. Thanks so much for watching this ramble with my shadow behind me and my trying to get the lighting right. I really appreciate it. I have to work on that. I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks so much for joining me. If you feel like it, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. One's enough. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Oh, my gosh, you guys. How do you do lighting? This is like a horror movie right now.